presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on a small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You got many great ideas in your head, but without action. On that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 353, NASDAQ is up 61, SP is down 32, gold contract up a buck 90, trading at 1800 flat, silver up two cents, $22.48 an ounce, light sweet crude down a buck 48, $70.88 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note. Flat, 131.03, 30-year up 10 at 162.14, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 537 ticks, trading out at 96.580. Euro is at 112. The yen is at 113.72, and the British pound is at 132 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we're going to... Have some heavy volatility coming into the close. We have the rebalancing of the S&P 500. So what that specifically means, folks, is this, is that you're going to have large buys and sells at the close. And this is <laughs> what happens in something like this. It blows my mind that, that many, even fund managers, uh, just wait to the, to the close in order to do this. And then they just put, you know, buy or sell at the closing price. So you, you are going to see some big action. That being said, if we take a look at the S&Ps out here, what you have right now is this. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Yesterday, what we did is this. You, got, you made a new all-time high, did 116 million shares. Well, right now, we're at 94 million, and bottom line is that you're down $2. This will have a mod. This, this is going to be like 150 million or something. This is going to be a monster number when we come into the close. Now, and this is what I've found over the course of years. So when you have a balancing, a rebalance, it doesn't matter whether it's the NASDAQ, it's the Russell 2000, it's the S&P. If you have, if we're going to have the rebalancing, and if we stay lower on the rebalancing, it is telling us flat out that's where the market wants to go. You know, and so I suspect what we have here is that we have a much longer consolidation. Um, so what I expect we're going to see is this. You're going to see an expansion of volume. That being said, on the S&P, you got to remember where we are inside of the market, meaning you do, in December 17th, 18th, right? What is it? 18th? 17th. Okay. So you get the year end coming. This market will run higher into the year end. That being said, January 3rd, watch out, man. <laughs> that's, that's the other side of this. So I expect what we're going to see first is this. You're going to see that S&P go after the highs once again. NDX 100, whole different animal. NDX 100, I suspect, if I'm right in the context that the S&P does go after the highs, the SP, I mean, the NASDAQ will go after the top of the consolidation, which in the Qs is like approximately the 400 area. Right now, what you have had out here today is this. You had the NDX 100 reject lower price at 381. You're at 387. So, I mean, the, the NDX itself has had quite a day out here when the market hasn't. Inside of the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here, 
You have um, Cerner is up 13.5%. Someone's taking them over. You get Zoom up 9%. Peloton's up 5.8%. 5 .8, and you've got Dexcom up 5.8%. Uh, we go take a, taken away from it. NetEase is down 4.5%. Starbucks is off 4 Syntas is down at 2.2. Let's go look at Syntas. I want to look at this. Syntas is always an important stock to really get to understand where the economy is going. Okay, so Syntas, put this on a weekly. Okay, so the only bar down is a high volume bar. So Syntas wants to run down to 417. Get volume at 409. So that's not going to be bad. Even if it pulls down to 417, 409 is game. That's where it kind of went top side from. And the reason that Syntas is so important, folks, is this, is that if the, you know, okay, so picture what they do. They picture, they have, they they get all the uniforms, they get the entrance mats, they get the fire protection, they get the safety services, and this is for just about, you know, let's see how, do they say how much, how many places they take care of? They have 40,000 employees. Uh, they do 1.9 billion. And so check, check, that's, that's a quarter. So check this out. It, it, this is it, just amazing. I mean, this is how far this goes back, folks. When I had a pizza place, okay, that actually, this is it's a great story, man. So picture this. Tommy got born on the second floor. Was he already? Yeah, no, he, he got born. Yeah, that's right. He got born. We were, I had the pizza place on the bottom floor. We lived in the second and third floor. And you can joke with Tommy because his first, first uh, food was pizza crust. The Royal House of Pizza. This is 19, so he was born in 1980. Um, bottom line, I had Syntas then. <laughs> uh, we do need feature emojis. Uh, I had Syntas, as does every, you know, retail USA, folks. You know, that's why it's important watching that equity. Because what ends up happening, if they start ha losing business, okay, because you're talking about uh, small places, but what does happen it's particularly in the Northeast, okay, it's crucial. Those mats, the, the mats that, you know, you're walking in, you, you have to have them because people could slip, you know, the whole, all of the above. So that's why that's important. Um, after the, as we come into the close, you're, you're going to see some big action out here. So let's go into the King Dollar because what you have with the King Dollar, King Dollar yesterday goes down on with price. Today goes right back topside, man. Uh, so we're, we're still up in the air on this thing, man. That's the bottom line, is that, you know, it's, it's been going sideways now for three weeks. Came off the high, going sideways. We'll, we'll, if we go take a look at the euro, more than likely it's the euro that gave it up. So the euro right now, currency. Yeah, the euro gave it up. So the, the euro... Just the opposite. Yeah, we'll see if the, the euro can get to 112. And right now, well, 112.07, you're at 112.50 in the euro. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down at 423. They get the Nasdaq up 12. S&Ps are down 32. Let's go inside the Dow and see what's moving the Dow around here. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Okay, so point-wise, what we have here, Boeing putting 14 positive points, IBM 13. That's about it. Taken away from it. Goldman down, putting negative 86. You got Home Depot negative 64. Johnson Johnson negative 27. There's some big numbers out there, man. Let's just look at Goldman for a second. So Goldman's trading 384. You're down 13 bucks. Yeah, it's still in a consolidation. You know what's interesting too is, is that when you when I look at a lot of these equities, it, it seems like in one second that it's down it's down um, basically, you know, a good amount, but then when you actually look at where it is, where it is and where it's been, it's really not down that, that much uh, whatsoever. We got to take a look at the a couple of the big dogs out here. Let's go to Amazon first and take a look at Amazon. You got Amazon right now. Uh, it's still in the consolidation. It's, re it's rejecting the lower price out here today. Um, let's go take a look. I mean, I'm curious just to see. When I was listening this morning, well, yeah, Mosaic is not that big. Okay, so Mosaic is down. It's trading 36 bucks. We'll put this on a weekly. Well, I see. It's still, it's still at highs. Yeah, so last year and a half. Yeah, this this is pretty good. This went from $6 in the last year and a half all the way up to 42 and you're trading 36 Now, you did come down off this high with volume, so we'll see how that basically can uh, handle that volume. Uh, when you take a look at this weekly, let me actually put this on a monthly. Because what you'll see, oh, look at this is an ABC up. Oh, look at, okay, this is something to watch. This is really something to watch, folks, because if we're right, if I'm right on the context that this commodity market is going to keep moving, what you will see is that you'll see a couple of these, something like this, really, really move. Um, see, a B point on this is 38. The A point is 6. 32 bucks. 42, 52, 62, 60. This thing looks like it wants to go to sixty dollars. Yeah, and if you bring it up, the lie, the swing high actually is sixty-four. That brings it back to twenty thirteen. See where it's out of twenty eleven because it would have been eighty-five. That what if if what you want to look at, folks? Okay, um, is 
if you're, you want to look at any equity that you're buying, if it happens to be in the commodity market, and look at 2011, because that's where the last highs were. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, man? Hey, Tommy, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Excellent, thank you. Very good. I know. You, you listen, uh, I think the whole country must be having good weather or something. Well, poor, the poor people oh, we, that in Mayfield. Yeah, we have a fine day. I think this is the last warm one, though, for a while. No, I'm with you because it's it's 80, it's 80 been 80 and 82 degrees down here, folks. And then, of course, really? I'm always looking at Boston. Oh. And it was like 57 today, 60 degrees, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool breeze on the ocean, but a uh, nice day. Okay. So we're looking at the yeah. gap, right? Yeah, I've been short this for a while. Okay. And I'm wondering if, if I'm still should be waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Let's take a uh, look. It looks like it's caught on a consolidation back in 2019 and hold them there. Okay, so let's see. So your low is 15, the high is 37. Okay, so it's still not bad. It's 7.9%. So there's a 7.9% shot position, Frank, which, okay. you know, is not that bad. And not for something no, that's no. been down so dramatic, no. okay? Most times, folks, you don't, you don't want to... Oh, this is a monster ABC down. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Oh, yeah. No, I'd stay right there. One second, hold it. 37, yeah, okay. 21, 31, 16. Yeah, it's nine bucks. Where's nine bucks? There it is right there. Yeah. Yeah, th th I suspect what will happen is this, Frank, is that... So you've been going sideways for a month now. After you, well, you had the downdraft, then you're going sideways for three weeks. More yeah. than likely, when something goes down that quick, you know, you, you get another four or five weeks maybe. But this thing wants to go really? to nine bucks, man. That's how it's showing up. Nine. Okay. Yeah, it's That's an ABC. What I to it's, know. it's a it's a weekly ABC down to nine. Let me put on a monthly for a second. And well, yeah, let me do, yeah, no, let me put on a monthly first. Then I want to look at those these numbers. So yeah, it's the same monthly thing. Is just I, Look at that. Downhill all the way on a monthly. On a monthly, you can see it's right there, too, man. So that's the top. Okay, so this was the watch, Frank. You see how, you see how, you see my screen there? See on the top of that how 1444 is the high yeah. of that? Well, when it gets to that level, hopefully it will get to that level for you. That's just watch it really closely there because you may get a rejection of lower price you know how that works you get a rejection of the high of the low of the high volume bar yeah 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 but yep. i think you have more there and then let's look at the numbers the fundamental numbers that they're telling us so now, what's this chart i'm looking at uh, is this a, the the, the a daily the chart the last chart that was up frank was a monthly a monthly okay that, that was a monthly and that's the one you really want to pay attention to, too. I see. I see. The fourteen dollar low, the thirteen ninety two is what exactly. I have. Exactly. So you so you have the ABC structure down to the nine dollar yep. area, but when we put it on the monthly, this is cool, folks. Okay, for an exercise to understand how how markets like to move. So the ABC down is nine dollars and something cents. You put it on the monthly, and you can see that yeah, the bottom of that is that ABC structure, but the top of that. Plenty of times when you get high volume bars, they like to go to the top of it, they reject it, then they can take off again. This here yeah. is still saying, um, this is intriguing, man. Okay, so, see, they, oh, they're in a fiscal 2022 already. Look at this, this is crazy. It, it is 2021. Man, how the heck do you get into fiscal 2022? <laughs> this is weird. I don't know. Um, oh, no, that would make sense. No, it wouldn't. Man, anyway, they, they, they plan on losing money this quarter, Frank, so I think it's still going to be good. They do. Yeah. I mean, they're, okay. they're saying okay. they're going to take in $4.6 billion, but yet they're still going to lose 12 cents a share, you know? And guess what? It's, you know, it's, it's like, really? You know, if you, if you lose money on the quarter when Christmas is in, folks, okay, there's something wrong, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. They're after Christmas, Shell should be good. Yeah, which we haven't seen yeah. out here. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's there's, yeah. there's not as many sales as there used to be. That's for sure. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in stores, Tom, and I don't see things flying off the shelves. No, I agree. I, you know, I don't, you know, it. I don't know if it's hard to call, tell. I mean, because I I know myself, I don't buy as much, you know, because once you start yeah. stop 
getting used to going to stores, it's like, you know, Amazon's my best friend. So it's click, click, and, you know, they show up at, at your house. <laughs> and yeah, right. I, what I've seen is that, you know, you buy more stuff for your house than you do, you know, I mean, how many pairs of clothes do you need early? Do you know what I mean? But, you know. Yeah. yeah. Cook it, brother. Thank you, sir. Have a great one, man. Good Have food. a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You have the Dow Industrials right now trading down. Nah, 393. NASDAQ is up 27. S&P's are down 32. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 397. The Nasdaq up 21. S&Ps are uh, down uh, 32. And I believe, is it, let's, we just... We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's see what we have. You got you got Apple uh, trading down sixty cents. Look at AMC is up five dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> so you got AMC up five dollars, twenty nine dollars. You got um, Ford down thirty nine cents. Bank of America is down a buck. You got uh, Rivian off ten. That's a big number, no doubt. Wells Fargo is down two bucks. And what that what's happening there, folks, is that. We'll take a look at these bonds for a second. What you're going to see, see this bond here? So you, you get the 10-year trade in 1.43. Now watch this. The 30-year, 1.82. So 
you only have 400 basis points. You know, 100 basis points is a percent, folks, okay? Uh, no, oh my God, hold it. No, it's not even 400 basis points. Oh my God, you're talking about 1.8? Wow. That's amazing, actually. That's why people, that's why the banks are down so much, man. Um, yeah, you, you only have, um, it, it's 0 .400 in between lending money for 10 years and 30 years. That's, that's something else, man. And then look when you look down here for a second. Here, so watch this for a second. This is what, this is where I would say that, you know, in the context of the aspect of so many folks continually to think that rates have to go down. If you look at this scale that I'm showing right now, what this scale is, this is the scale of 10-year notes across, you know, the European Union, across Asia, and across the, the Americas, okay? And what you can see is that, you know, we are at 1.4. Brazil's at 4.5 because they, they got inflation rage and beyond belief. Mexico's at 2.9. Now look what you have, though. You have France is in a negative on the 10-year. Germany's in a negative in the 10-year. The Netherlands has been for a long time. Switzerland has been for a long time. Okay. Greece, who's been broke forever, is at 1.1. So when you're looking at bonds, it's really important to understand that the note and bond market, folks, is worldwide. That's the real bottom line in a monster way, too. And, you know, yes, the, the Fed going to eventually go up. Yes, they are. But what you're going to see is that the aspect is plenty of funds. There's plenty of family offices. There's plenty of universities. There's plenty of large nonprofits around the world. And we know what they're going to do. The bottom line is that they're going to turn around and put their dollars when they want to get them back into notes and bonds. That's what that's the demand that you're seeing out here. Let's go take a look at Tilray for one of the uh, traders out here, one of our tigers. And uh, I was just looking at um, CGC, and it, it does look to me that the, these things, well, we'll see whether they made the bottom, but it looks to me like that they have made a bottom. Uh, now, that being said, I really, you know, so, so Tilray, let's look at Tilray first, and then I'll bring up Canopy Growth. So if you look at Tilray, the lows of the year is today, $7.40, the high is $67. Um, they, let's see what they're doing revenue-wise. Revenue-wise, they are taking in this quarter $170 million, and they're still going to be losing money the whole rest of the year. That's the bottom line. Um, if you're buying it, let's see what we have. Let's put this on a weekly for a second. So on a weekly... You're back at a breakout, eleven dollars, eight forty. Yeah, I'd buy it. I'd buy it and just put a stop somewhere. You know, the low of this bar is seven forty. So, what's that bar right there? That bar is five seventy-seven. I mean, this is something. As long as you don't go over your head on this, right? So, so watch this, folks. Okay, Th this would be a trade. If you're looking to like, kind of be an investor in the, in the pot business, the, the stop would be pretty far on this, okay? I'd put my stop under these lows, okay? I mean, in 577, which is huge for, you know, a $7 stock, okay? That being said, when you look at this, this is like, you know, looks like it wants to go to $25, but, you know, that could be a couple years. Let's go, if we go to Canopy Growth, this canopy growth is a better, better looking shot. I, I was looking at this for a tiger before I was getting on the air. Canopy growth, you know, to me, looks like it's going to run to this 1566, and you're only at 956. And it, ha it did have, canopy did have a gap that was getting filled at that $9 area. That's filled, of course. We put this on a weekly, and it's pretty good setup. And what you do have in a weekly is this, is that you, you have the first get go to the top side maybe a sign of strength that's when it, you know it went up the weeks of uh november 12th as well as 19th and then when i always see a high volume high i love it that's the bottom line and this is a high volume high 
You know, now you can, you can, the high volume high that I'm pointing out is February of 2021. This is what does happen. This has gone down since February of 2021. First off, that's you want to wrap your head around. It was at a high of $56. It closed at the end of the month at $40 and just continued to go lower because the whole world at that point of, uh, you know, they evidently thought that these companies were going to make this money on a continual basis, hand over fist. Um, business wise, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a big business, a growing business. No doubt about that. The real kicker I would say is that, you know, how do they differentiate themselves and how do they price themselves when you're a commodity? That's what it really comes down to the, the difference inside a canopy growth is that you do, you do have constants. Constellation Brands that owns more than 51% of it. That's no, well, actually, let me just see. Because what you will have happen is, I believe that they actually they don't own 51% of it, but they what they do have is that they have pH. They have control of it because they booted, yeah, 36% of it. Okay, so yeah, check this out. Yeah. They get 36% of it. That being said, though, what had happened is that they booted the CEO out. They, they get good vision on the board of directors, meaning that they're kind of running this through the board of directors. That being said, though, they still only own 36% of it. So more than likely, once they think, so picture, they, they, they're in a nice situation. Once they think, meaning Constellation, Constellation Brands, once they think that this equity has not only turned, but they can figure out the pot business, meaning, you know, is it just a commodity or is it going to be a brand structure? Um, I suspect they'll buy the whole thing, you know. So that's what you have going also with Canopy. That's what it comes down to. So we'll see where uh, it uh, ends up shaking out. But I, I suspect uh, as, you, as all these companies keep going forward, um, they, have, they, have some, they have a lot of challenges, man. <laughs> that's the bottom line. But... Uh, just like any other vice, man, they're going to be making money hand over fist. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 460. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 17. S&P's off 32. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to uh, 18. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are off 32. And uh, as we come into this close, you're going to see a little uh, jumping around here. Normally, what ends up happening, folks, in a rebalance like this is that these markets, it, they line up right to the last two or three minutes, and then you'll just start seeing all this crossing of trades. That's what it comes down to. So what the rebalance specifically comes down to also, it's not like there's... Uh, well, you know, no, we'll see where it shakes out. There's, 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 there's high volatility on it, that's for sure. Let's go take a look at Royal Gold and see what's going on at Royal Gold because the rest of these golds, you know, bottom line, um, are not running around too much. But yet, Royal Gold finally picked up its nose here. Uh, it's up 264. So let's just see if someone is coming into Royal Gold because we know when we were looking at these gold equities yesterday, you had an Invesco start to come in. It's November 30th. Oh, here we go. What's that? No, it's not enough. Norges Bank. See, this is interesting, though. See this one right here? Now, this was... Oh, it's 2020. It doesn't work. New. Nope. No action yet. No action yet. Let's go. Let's go back to Newmont. And, and I'll sh let's do Newmont again, because we know Invesco is coming into Newmont. What we want to see is that we want to see, are there any dates out here from the 16th from yesterday to see if they're buying? They're still buying. That's good. Okay, so there it is. Um, any new ones? October. What's that October? That's a seller. That's Deutsche Bank. That's a seller, though. 1216. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is good. So <laughs> this is just funny. Okay, so this is a new one. Trust, first Trust Advisors. They bought 609,000 shares yesterday. They've already owned. They, they had already owned prior to that 2.3 million. So you can see how this starts working, folks, okay? Uh, that's it. Let's just go into, okay, so we did, let's go into Barrick, because what we haven't seen yet is someone come into Barrick. And Fidelity used to be in love with Barrick until Barrick ended up buying Rangold, and Rangold is actually a better company than Barrick. Um, you know, but I'm not quite sure why they haven't gone all in since then. So where are they now? So let's take a look. So you got CI Investment. That was the end of November. That's, that's not bad. Century, the end of November buying, meaning. And that's about it. Um, man, Fidelity really sold some shares. Dude, think about this for a second. This is really strange, actually, because Fidelity... Man, Fidelity used to be the biggest owner of Barrick. <laughs> no wonder why. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Well, they got 51 million shares. They still own 2.8% of it, but September was the last time they sold. 8 million shares. Oh, no, here's another one, September 2. So you, you can see these. I want to point these out. If you're watching Tiger TV, the first one, that's Fidelity. Or watch this. If I hit it, those are the different funds. So you get Magellan. Then Strategic Advisors, Fidelity Institution. And if I hit, whoa, that one. Bring that in. I'll hit this one. And then you got Fidelity Bermuda. And then you get Fidelity 
multiple portfolios. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if uh, they can get a little more appetite for that gold market. Um, the, you know, the Bitcoin. Let's go take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's uh, taking it on the chin, man. And it looks to me that you're going to get down to this 39,000. We're getting closer to it. You get down to 45,000 today. Now, the spike down there is 42, but your, your swing point is 39. So when you, when you make it down this far, in fact, let's do this. So if you did, no, it's not an ABC down, but you, you break this consolidation. The, the bottom of the consolidation is 39. If you get down there and the price, the, the spread, meaning you get down there too quick, then it, then it sets up 29,000. So you talk about volatility, man. It's pretty amazing. And I think it's only a matter of time before you're going to end up seeing um, <laughs> the aspect of whether it's country, yeah, it's going to be countries. It's going to be countries that turn around and, you know, they basically do whatever they can um, in order to basically regulate that industry. There's no doubt. If you remember the beginning of the industry, the SEC claims that we're going to be all over them. Um, the industry that themselves, they claim that, hey, man, this is not a security, so you have no rights whatsoever. And where where it stands right now is this. It stands that you do have some larger players inside of, you know, the Bitcoin token industry, but you don't have enough of them that it could change policy. That, that's, that's kind of where my head's at, meaning that if you had, if it was integrated into the financial system, the, the further you get integrated into the system, the more that they have to deal with you. It's not, and I just can't, I just, I think the surprise is going to come to the downside because I can't picture the Federal Reserve, our own Treasury, allowing the use of a Bitcoin or a Ethereum and making it too easy. Because if, because if they do, well, I'll, well, I'll use it, of course, okay? But then how will they track it, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to. So, and it's all about tracking. It's all about paying taxes, folks, okay? And, you know, the bottom line is you can just, well, we'll, we'll, see, how, we'll see how it does shake out. The uh, Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft. We know Nadella sold half of his position. Uh, Microsoft today come down to the lowest swing point. The lowest swing head point had volume of 41 million. We're at 28. Now, we hit 317 and it was 318. And now you're at 322. I suspect what we're going to have here, because it is rebalancing, is that this volume will go up. So now what you're doing is that you're hitting the lows and you simultaneously have an exchange volume at the same time. Well, well, actually, it won't be an expansion of volume. It'll be volume at the same time. That sets up that this will get back to the breakout area and fill this gap. The gap, there's a gap that's wide open at uh, 313. They went to 317. And if you hit that with too much volume, then guess what? You can go lower. I mean, thus far, what, is, what has happened is that Nadella sold right at the highs. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get any better than that. Could you imagine being an institution, owning that, and, you know, you have the CEO sell half his position at the highs. You know, what would you do? My take is that you'd sell it. You know, I mean, you know, it, the longer that you are hanging around when the CEO that hadn't sold anything since the, almost the time he was there decides to sell half his position, whole, diff whole different ballgame. It is absolutely a whole, whole different ballgame. We go, let's go take a look at the uh, platinum market out here. So the PPLT. That's, that's how platinum trades, well, in the ETF structure. This is trading out at uh, 86 right now. If we go take a look at platinum in general, let's pull this baby up. So, platinum. Come on, where are you? There it is. So, you have platinum tra trading 936. They rejected the lower price here on Tuesday. Rejecting higher price today. Yes. We'll see if uh, it's going to hold this low. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 513. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 10. S&Ps are off 32. And uh, bottom line is that uh, let's just go look at these markets and see where they stand right now. Um, you're not gonna, I don't think you're going to have that much movement coming into the close. Uh, Volume-wise, it's going to be all, all there you know, in the individual equities. There's no doubt about it. So what we have out here thus far is this. The SPY... Uh, has done uh, 109 million shares right now. And let's see, we have, what time is it? It's, uh, you get six minutes. But this is, they'll, they'll throw another 20 million in there, 10 to 20 million. That being said, you're still coming into 127 million. So what you have here is that you, you, you are lower. The, we got to 458.06. The high of this low bar, okay, is 458.07. Um, I mean, no, the, it's, yeah, it's the low of the bar, right? That, that doesn't make any sense, no. Yeah, okay. 459 was, four, the high is 459. So you're down to 458. You're rejecting it. And we'll see, I suspect you're going to get uh, probably the same amount of volume. Um, right, right now, what you have is that uh, we're at 110 versus 127. But I suspect you're going to get a lot of it in there. Uh, we go to take a look at the NDX 100. And what we have with the three Qs is that that's down a buck 46. 
Uh, we're coming into the lower end of this, 73 million versus 105. That, now, the way that the NQs are trading, this is, we get some heavy divergence. The NQs, to me, look like they want to go right back. I mean, right now, before the S&P even goes, well, the S&P can go to highs. The NQs are the ones that are low, that are basically weak. You know, that uh, 378 is wide open to be tested. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy. Monday morning kicks us off, 9 a.m., and then think about this, folks. The week after that, we're going to be going into 2022. you got to love it. Oh, get them, folks. Building wealth.